How much money did you make in a month doing this? Well, in a month from 400 to $2,500. Please describe the device farm you used. I were using BPS service. So that's a kind of device farm, but it's not physical. And with that, I can open 10 to 20, 30 instance with the same computer, virtual device farm. How many devices were you controlling virtually with your device farm? Mm, the max device farm that I have were 25 instance at the same time. Was this hosted out of AWS? Yeah, yeah. AWS, uh, there is so much services online that can do that. How much did you pay for the device farm per month? $400 to 1000 sometimes. How did you discover the idea of doing surveys for money? Because here in Venezuela, the early wage is very low. So I was finding, searching for ways to do more money online. Did you use residential proxies to look like you were from the United States? Venezuela is on Latin America. I needed to find a way to make the surveys. So that's why I'm using residential proxies. Is it easy to buy a U.S. proxy? It's easy to purchase, but it's kind of complicated uh, to set up. What attracted you to the idea of exploiting the survey incentive system? Well, surveys that I can use with all my device, because one survey that pays $1, if I do it 25 times, it's $25. Was it easy to do the survey 25 times across 25 devices? No, it's, it's, it wasn't easy. I'd spend a lot of time and money making, trying to do that. Did the challenge of doing all these surveys push you to stop cheating and start helping the research industry? Yeah, I, have, I am no longer working like that because I am testing now the survey sites and searching for preventing people to do the things that I was doing. What did you look for when attempting to take surveys for money? The surveys that don't have uh, any quality checks because some surveys has quality checks from prevent, prevent bots from doing that. Have you used bots to take surveys? On the past, I have done so. Yeah, but that were bots programmed by myself. What quality checks do you try to avoid? Open-ended answers, mathematical questions, things like that, logical oh. questions. How much time did you spend each week taking surveys? A couple of years ago, the time I spent taking surveys was from 60 to 70 hours a week. How many surveys do you think you completed in a single week? From 100 to 1,000 surveys. How did you learn how to exploit survey taking as a means to making money? I like the computers a lot, and, and that's how... I knew some of the knowledge to do that things because I studied networks. Why did you leave IT? No, what's the payment? What other services did you use other than VPS and residential proxies? Well, the most services are free. So I was using some kind of Chrome history browser. So something like a person that lets me see all the, your, all the links that I've gone through. Was it more difficult or less difficult to find browsers that would pass quality controls? I think over the time, it's, it has gone more difficult and needs more configuration and things like that. How long did you do this for? Mm, exactly three years. What do you think about device farms now versus then? Yeah, now it's easier. Setting up is easier, but doing the surveys is more complicated now. 
How much money did you make in a month doing this? In a, in a month from 400 to $2,500. What percent of your device farm was dedicated to completing surveys? I think 90%, 95% of my device farm. What challenges did you face when you were attempting to complete surveys? There, are, there were a lot of quality checks and the security measures of the surveys itself because sometimes the residential proxies don't work. Sometimes the servers shut down. I have changed providers like four to five times. How did you take a survey multiple times? I changed the device, the, the browser fingerprint. I can change the browser fingerprint the times that I need for and also the IP addresses. How did you clear device attributes that may have helped a sample provider identify you? I were using tools to clean my computers, my servers. Do you feel surveys are getting more difficult or easier to fake out? I think the surveys are getting harder to fake out for new people, but for me it's really easy to complete any survey of any subject because of the time I spend learning how the online servers are structured. How many survey sites were you registered to take surveys? 25 to 30 survey sites. What sites would you avoid joining? Well, since I can tell names, is a bit complicated to explain, but there are some survey sites that requires ID verification, and that's what I avoid. I avoid. Was each device connected to a different fake persona? Yeah, each, each device was called as a different person. How did you use a bot when there was an open end in the survey? I make the bot stop and then I make the open end by myself. What happens when companies begin to encrypt the surveys? Well, it depends on the, the hash, the hash calculation itself. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's harder. Were you able to decrypt some of the hash methods? Yep, with a calculator. What are the attributes of the hash protected links you could hack into? But only with the four digits, three digits. More than that is a lot harder. What are the top three things you think we as a research industry can do in order to keep the old you from doing our surveys? Finding ways to detect the residential proxies will be, will be the first one because some of the people that do fraud are using that. Almost 100% of the people using hashes on the regular links, larger hashes. Third one would be ID verification because that will be the most secure.